Hey guys, it's Supreme, and welcome to Python tutorial number 12. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the first half of um, our list methods. Now, we've seen what functions are, but methods are something slightly different. Um, so far, the functions we've seen are what you could basically call arbitrary functions. They can work on... Uh, well, most of them can work on anything, uh, but they they're not specific to a function, are they? Like, say, the sorry, they're not specific to an object. Uh, like, for instance, the length function isn't specific to an object. I mean, it could be, technically, but uh, you can check the length of um, any object, and it's always checked the same way. Whereas methods are specific to an object, that means that um methods can only be used on a certain on that type of object so in this case list methods can only be used on lists and they will affect only the y the list you are using them with and the way that works is rather than um you you know calling the functions say uh, like the first uh list method there is is append rather than calling append like this I'll just open up the idle rather than calling a pen like this and supplying it uh, my list okay rather than doing that what you actually do is you say my list and then dot append okay so rather than saying append my list and then typing in the value you want to append you just say my list dot append okay that period um, means uh, to my list append basically so obviously append is the first one we're going to look at excuse me uh, append allows us to append a single object uh, in this case uh, actually I didn't even have a list yet so let's make a list uh, we'll use numbers again uh, actually one two five so it's smaller is easier um, okay so uh, our first function my list dot append so append is the function okay and so you can append a single object in this case it would be an integer or actually no it wouldn't because uh, like I said when we first talked about lists lists can actually contain any number of um, different types of objects you know as many of different types of obje objects as there are so you know numbers strings booleans and all that but in this case it will be a number because um, it's a list from one through to whatever number I choose. So I'll just append the number 6. Uh, but before I do this actually, let's just view my list to check that it has 1 to 5. Okay, now let's append that 6. Then if we check my list now, it's got 1 to 6. Okay. Um, now, if you try and append um, a list, so something like 7, 8, 9, you try and append several numbers at once, if you go ahead and try that, and now look at my list, you can see it's got two pairs of square brackets in. And if I now index my list uh, 6, which will be the seventh element, you can see it gives me back three numbers. That's because wh when you append, you can only append one object. So in this case, rather than appending three separate integer objects um, in the uh, using the append function, it's appended one list object as a whole. And you can only supply one argument to the append function, which is why I didn't comma separate them without the brackets. Uh, so, if you want to append more than one thing at one time, that's not the function to use. We'll get onto that function in a sec. Uh, not just now, but it will be the next function. Promise. Uh, so let's just delete my list six, and now we've only got one to six. Good. Okay. So this the next function we have. Um, is the count function, or I, su I should say method actually, because there is a difference which I explained just before. Okay, uh, so the count function allows us to basically check the number of appearances of a certain um, item, I guess you could call it. So if I type mylist.count, I now give mylist.count a value that I want to see how many um, occurrences there are of that value in my list. So if I give it number 5, 
it counts how many number fives there are in my program, uh, in my list. So if I append another five to my list, then again do my list dot count five, I get two back because I've got two fives in there now. Okay, as you can see. Uh, and if I try counting a number which isn't in there, like seven, I just get back zero. Okay. Uh, let's delete my list six again so we didn't have the one in there and good it's now just one through six okay so back to um adding more than one uh object at a time okay uh this is where the function extend comes in okay so we have my list dot extend and the extend uh function allows us to extend our the list that we are using the extend fun the extend method on so if i supply a list of like 789 and then i check my list notice uh this setup where these are between square braces and between the parentheses is exactly the same as here the only difference is i'm using the extend function not the append okay and now if i look at my list will it look like this with two sets of square brackets no it doesn't cuz we use that extend function and now you're probably thinking mm, this looks a lot like uh, addition of lists remember we talked about that a couple of tutorials ago where I could do something like uh, a plus 10 11 12 and whoops not a sorry my list plus 10 11 12 and then we get uh, something like that uh, the only difference is um, that's not the case. The extend, the, the slight difference is, and I'll explain it now. The extend function modifies the list that you use it on. The extend method modifies the list that you use it on, because it's uh, it doesn't return a value. It actually um, modifies the list that you use it on. Okay, so if I do something like uh, create a new list, I'll say my list two. I'll just uh, sorry my list two there and then I say it equals my list dot extend uh, and then I'll put in 11 12 whoop, 10 11 12 11 12 okay and I run that and now I check my list two it doesn't contain anything if I print it you'll see it will give me back none okay but if I print my list the original one it has the numbers 10 11 12 that's because the extend method doesn't actually return a value. It just modifies the list that you use it with. Um, whereas the concatenation or the addition of lists does. So if I said, let's delete, um, first we'll delete the values 10, 11, 12 from my list. Uh, so from 9 to the end. Let's check it now. Okay, good. If I say my list 2 equals my list plus 10 11 12 and I print my list 2 it now contains all those values plus a 10 11 12 and I print my list the original one and it doesn't contain those values uh, that's because the plus um, operator in this case when concatenating lists returns a value it doesn't actually